Good afternoon. We'll have more on that story for you in just a minute. But first, two new high capacity water towers will soon become operational here. The city says those structures will increase the water pressure in your taps and your hoses. And now they're urging everyone to check their plumbing. Those two water towers are located at Holly near Everhart and Rand Morgan and Leopard. Chris 6 News reporter Ashley Portillo joins us live now near one of those towers. Ashley. Priscilla, increased water pressure could turn a small leak into a big problem. That's why the city is asking everyone to make sure their plumbing is ready for those changes. The new elevated storage tanks are expected to be in service within two to three months. You'll know when it happens because there will be a noticeable increase in water pressure across the city. When you're watering your yards, what if you were to water for 10 minutes before with your irrigation system, maybe that may be able to be scaled back to five to seven minutes. Right now, the average water pressure is about 40 pounds per square inch. Depending on where you live, it could go up to 60 pounds per square inch. That's why the city wants you to check your faucets, pipes, hoses, and connectors. If there is a leak actually in your system and it's not detected beforehand, then uh, it will show up once the pressure change occurs. It could show up in the form of a leak that will waste water and leave you with a higher water bill and repair cost. And when the storage tanks are in service, the new changes in water pressure will be seen immediately. Mike Wanzer of the City Plumbing Mechanical Advisory Board says an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If you have a leak, you'll know it now. It's going to come out and uh, you'll know it and uh, you'll want to get it fixed because water will be leaking out faster than ever. The city expects customers will have a lot of questions about this change, so they're prepared with some answers. For more information on that, you can go to our website at ChrisTV.com. Reporting live, Ashley Portillo, Chris 6 News.